And welcome back to In the Cage with Bards here on ExportStar.com. And joining me now, we have the man who will be taking on Dan Lozon this Friday night at World Series of Fighting 3 at the Hard Rock in Las Vegas, live on NBC Sports and the prelims streaming on MMAJunkie.com. The one, the only, the man they call Guns, John Gunderson, back on the program. How are you doing today, John? I'm doing good. Good. Glad to hear it, man. And uh, glad to see you're getting back into the cage. Uh, the last time we talked to you, as a matter of fact, uh, you told us uh, uh, that uh, you had the neck injury and had to pull out of your uh, first World Series of Fighting fight against Jay-Z Cavalcante. It's been a bit of a long layoff for you. Uh, how are you feeling these days? Are you ready to go? Yeah, I'm, I'm completely ready to go. I'm feeling good, so... Excellent. Is, is ring rush a concern uh, at all of yours? Because you're known as a guy who you know, will take a fight at the drop of a hat's notice. And uh, just you know, being off that long, that's kind of new for you. Yeah, um, you know, it shouldn't be a concern. I've been, I've, been, uh, I've been training. I've been sparring a lot. You know, I, I get in the cage and I mix it up with some, some of the best guys out there. So it's, that's just like a fight. So uh, I feel good. I'm ready to go. Hmm. And, you know, like I say, you just, you've got this rep, uh, you'll fight a lot on short notice. You've got something like 50 fights in your career. Uh, the last time you were here, you told that great story about driving all night and then trying out on no sleep and an empty stomach for the IFL. How difficult has it been for you to not have a fight for a year? Oh, well, it's been, it's been a pain in the ass, to be honest with you. I've been, I've wanted to fight since uh, January, but I knew that the world, I was under contract with the World Series and they were having a show in, in Las Vegas in June and... So I kind of, I was ready to go in like February, and I kind of just held out for, for the show this week. <laughs> how do you how do you deal with all that downtime? I mean, I know you do a lot of work uh, with Syndicate. Uh, do you just devote yourself to coaching uh, when you're uh, on, having a layoff that long? Yeah, and I also, I read, you know, I have two daughters, and I stay, they keep me real busy, and I just, I just stay working and, and I stay in the gym. Yeah. I'm in the gym every day, so. Excellent. And uh, fighting Dan Lozon, how do you think Lozon match up, matches up with you skill wise? Oh, I think it's a great matchup. Um, I think he's, he's a very tough opponent. He's uh, he's very skilled on the ground and standing, and, and it should make for a, an exciting fight. Mm hmm. One of the knocks on Dan Lozon throughout his career has been uh, his commitment and his focus. Obviously, that that's not a concern for someone like you. But do you think if you keep the pressure on him, he might break? You know that's what that's what I'm looking to do. I'm looking to put the pressure on him. I don't know if he'll break or not, but we'll, we're going to find out. So I know that uh, he's not going to break me. He's not going to break my will. The only way to beat me is to is to catch me with a punch. That's the only way he's going to be able to beat me. Otherwise, it's going to be uh, it's going to be a good fight, and he's going to have to deal with me coming at him 100 percent for three rounds. Mm -hmm. And we know you're prepared. Uh, again, you're doing all that great work with Syndicate. Uh, John Wood, uh, our good friend Bristol Marindi down there, Mike Pyle, John Alessio. Just uh, The list goes on and on of uh, the great talents there. Just uh, how does it feel to be part of something that really just seems to have really taken hold in the Las Vegas MMA community the past couple of years? Oh, it's great. It's great. we got, like you said, we got a bunch of good guys. we got a good vibe that goes on in there. And everyone's in there trying to help each other out, make each other better, and have each other's backs. Make sure that uh, everyone reaches the you know the highest pinnacle of the sport and becomes the best big martial artist that they can. Mm -hmm. And uh, have you brought in any training partners or working with anyone specifically to emulate Dan Lozon? Uh, you know, I brought in Ryan Couture because he's pretty tall, like Dan is. Uh, Ryan's aggressive. Ryan's got Ryan's got uh, you know good work ethic. He's going to be in a little better shape, I believe, than than Dan would. Uh, you can jump everywhere. I brought in a kid named Jimmy Spacuza, who's a 3 0 undefeated uh, lightweight prospect that you guys will be hearing about here in the next year or two. He's, he's definitely a, uh, you know, a rising star. I brought in John Alessio, uh, Evan Dunn, because he's a southpaw and his, his overall toughness. You know, obviously, he's, he's great on the ground, he's tough standing up. He was a great training partner. And, you know, the list goes on. I've got about three or four other guys. And they were all great training partners and they helped me prepare for this fight. Yeah, sounds like a great crew.